the, uh, the slides up, I, will, I think I'll start. I hope that I'll present results today, but unfortunately I don't have results yet. Uh, because uh, I ran into challenges with clearances, IRB and so on. Uh, the good news, I have a sizable amount of uh, my samples collected. So at the next at the next meeting, I should be able to tell you a bit more. Um, but I think I'll go on. I, I know what I want to say. Uh, my topic is about breast cancer and the overarching goal for breast cancer this work that I'm doing with other people is to re ultimately to reduce mortality and mobility. That's, that's the main thing. Uh, the problem in our community currently is the majority of people who come with breast cancer uh, come when they're in late stages, 80%. Stage 3 and stage 4. And what is the main driver of that? The main driver of that, among other things, is uh, low awareness, among other things. But we also think that low awareness is, is playing a part, but the other drivers are perhaps the biology of the tumor. This tumor is, these tumors here are not giving people a lot of opportunity to, to stay back. Uh, and as much as in my PhD work, uh, but I'm presenting this as a postdoc fellow. Um, in my PhD work, we, in one of the sub-studies, discover that women in Uganda wait for 12 months before they present to an appropriate center for attention. And if you know anything about tumor doubling time, the, the amount of time a tumor takes to multiply two times in size, 12 months is a long time to have done. So the, the, the work that uh, I'm doing, supported by Thrive, and uh, Professor Houston Doug, Douglas has, in Cambridge as one of my supervisors, and Professor Alex Asaya in Toledo, Ohio, as uh, one of my collaborators. Two main things. One is uh, I'm, I'm launching on a subtype called triple negative breast cancer. And breast cancer has, roughly speaking, four, four subtypes. Triple negative is the worst type, and unfortunately, it is overrepresented among Ugandan women. Up to a third of the women who get breast cancer, they get the triple negative. If you put it in context, in the Western world, it's between five and ten percent, but here, thirty percent, the worst type. So I'll actually go to that one, and. Um, because we don't know much about it, I'm intending to do two things. One is to look at what mutates, what mutates that leads to, to, to this trip to for negative uh, breast cancer. In. What is, what is and, and if we can trace the path by looking at the mutations, what is changing in the genes, we can perhaps work out what the pathway for development of this, this uh, cancer does one. The second thing is uh, we asking ourselves the question, why are these tumors very aggressive? They go for young women, they're not responding to treatment. What is it? And one of the, the pieces of work we've done, Professor Sayer, is we've been investigating uh, a protein called heat shock protein, which is apparent in all of us, but it's a protein that responds to stress. And, and as, side, as a side note, I know that this, this protein is elevated whenever you get an injury. Now, our primary data suggests that it's elevated in people who have, who develop cancer, in cancer of the breast. What does this protein do? It, it protects the cell from death. Unfortunately, it doesn't discriminate what cell, whether a tumor cell or a cell. Now the hypothesis is that this heat shock protein is overexpressed in this population for some reason. 
And should we confirm that it is overexpressed in this population, then it will create an opportunity for us to add a treatment to our conventional treatment, to first take it out of the way so that the tumor cells are exposed to the wrath of chemo and radiation and, and radiotherapy. Because at the moment we're giving the chemo, we're giving the radiotherapy, and the responses are very poor, not comparable to those. So that's a piece of work. Um, I have about maybe between 7 and 80% of the samples done. Um, and we are about to run them and we'll get to know whether those hypotheses we, we have are true. And if they are true, they'll open the opportunities for more work. Uh, more work and the work would be uh, running a trial, running a trial to see if you give the anti is short protein molecule and the protein is taken out of the way temporarily, whether our responses will be better. Uh, this work is, we've looked at no, it's not been done uh, anywhere in Sub Saharan Africa, so it may be an interesting piece of work when the results finally come. Thank you very much. <laughs>